Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about how to find the perimeter of a semicircle. So we're gonna do, you're gonna take some notes with me, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try a, a problem on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. All right, so right here we have an example of a semicircle, and a semicircle is really a circle that's cut in half, right? So in order to find um, the perimeter of a semicircle, there's a couple key formulas we have, we have to write down, all right? So the first one is to find the circumference of a shape. Remember, the circumference is pi times the diameter. We're gonna definitely use that formula, all right? And then also, the diameter equals twice the radius. All right, so these are two that you're gonna most likely use for this quite a bit, all right? Now, to come up with our own formula, what we have to do is we have to first take the diameter of, of the circle, all right? And to that, we need to add right, the distance of halfway around the circumference, right? So knowing that, we're gonna basically need to write our own uh, formula. So to get the perimeter of a semicircle, basically it's gonna be the blue part, which is the diameter. So we have one D, so that's one diameter. But then we now we need to add, okay, the half of the circumference. Well, over here again, remember, is the formula for circumference, pi times D. So it's gonna be pi, times D, but then we're gonna divide that in half, all right? So this right here can give us what we need to get the perimeter of a semicircle. But I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, all right? Because I know that when I do pi divided by two, I get 1.57. So I'm gonna rewrite this right here as 1.57D, all right? Again, the way I got that is I did 3.14 divided by two, and that's 1.57 and that's times D, like we have over here. But let's not forget about the diameter right here, right? So we need to add a 1D to it, all right? So now we have perimeter equals 1D plus 1.57D, and now it can combine like terms. So to get the perimeter of a semicircle, it's gonna be 2.57D, all right? If you'd please box this in, all right, and put a big star around it, all right? This is the key formula you need to know to get the, sem the perimeter of a semicircle. All right, so if you turn the page, let's try a problem together here. All right, so it says, the radius of a semicircle is one inch, okay? What is the semicircle's perimeter? Well, let's kind of draw, draw a little diagram of this. So we know we have a semicircle, and I'm gonna use a different color here, and we know that the radius is one. So I know from the midpoint out, this is gonna be one, which means this other side is also gonna be a one, right? So that means the diameter is going to be two. All right, so now that we know what the diameter is, we can rewrite the formula over here. So perimeter equals 2.57D. And now it's just a matter of just plugging in what we know and solving. So I know to get the perimeter, it's going to be 2.57 times our two, all right? So it's going to be 2.57 times two. And then when I do 2.57 times two, I get a final answer of 5.14. So it's gonna be 5.14, and our label is gonna be inches uh, because the radius was one inch. All right, and there is our perimeter of our first semicircle. All right, now let's do one more that's a little more complex. Now for this one, all right, notice they give us the perimeter. It says the perimeter of a semicircle is 20.56 feet, okay? What is the semicircle's diameter? All right, so this time we know the perimeter. We want to basically solve for the diameter. So again, we use the same formula, all right? So it's going to be perimeter equals 2.57D, all right? Now we're going to plug in what we know is the perimeter. So the perimeter is going to be 20.56. So it's going to be 20.56 equals 2.57D. All right, now we have an equation, so now it's just a matter of just solving the equations. I'm gonna divide both sides by 2.57. And when I do 20.56 divided by 2.57, I get an answer of eight. So I know the diameter is eight, and so the answer is gonna be eight feet. And there it is. All right, um, so why don't you now pause the video and try the your turn now problem. And when you're done, uh, hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck.
All right, welcome back. Let's say I did this practice problem. So here the question says, the perimeter of a semicircle is 23.13 feet. What is the semicircle's radius? All right, so let's underline the word radius. All right, so we're gonna use the same formula. So perimeter equals 2.57 times the diameter, all right? And again, I, they've given us the perimeter, right? So I'm gonna replace the P with a 23.13. And that's going to equal 2.57 times the diameter. All right, now just like before, we're going to divide both sides by 2.57. And now when I solve for D, when I do the division, 23.13 divided by 2.57 gives us an answer of 9. Okay, but that's not what we're looking for. Remember, we're looking for the radius. All right, so to get the radius, we're going to take the diameter and we're going to divide it in half which means the radius is gonna be 4.5, and the label is gonna be feet. And there it is. All right, how'd you do?